Now back to Annie's and Evening at the Improv. Lester, do you have a last name? Yep, it's uh, it's Oakwood. Oakwood. Lester Oakwood. But you know, everyone remembers a name like yours. Well, I think I was a household name before anyone actually realized I could sing. You know, that's almost like my life, you know? I mean, I could sing before people knew I was part of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Our next performer has appeared on The Tonight Show, The David Letterman Show, and is a favorite here at The Improv. Please welcome Jimmy Brogan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. How are you? Oh, you sound good. Good, I'm feeling good. Uh, it's nice to be here in California. I'm originally from the Midwest. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio is my hometown. And, uh, oh, that's, that's nice to clap. Are, are you from Cleveland? Yeah, my family is. Your family is, but uh, you're no longer allowed to live with them, or? Yeah, but you're not from Cleveland, sir? Um, yeah. Yeah, what part of Cleveland are you from? Um, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Oh, I, you know, I'm from Cleveland Heights also. Really? Yeah, where in Cleveland Heights? Um, around Fairmount, um, Fairmount uh, Avenue. Around Fairmount? Well, yeah, that area. Yeah, you living on a bus there or something? Just, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I grew up on uh, Fairmount and Coventry. Really? Well, well, no, not really. No, if you're going to pin me down, no. Uh, okay, I, I'm lying about this whole thing, sure. Um, and can we have a little more smoke up here? Yeah. I'd like to go in for chemotherapy in the morning if I could. And, uh, yeah. But, but it, it sounds like we're neighbors there, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where are you? Fairmount and what? What? what was that? It was a silly question, yeah. Uh, I guess if you're just around Fairmount, you probably don't know the exact street. Um, well, it was Fairmount. Yeah. Fairmount, Fairmount and Coventry is where I was. Where, now, where were you? The, the street Fairmount Avenue. Right. Right. But did you ever notice there were other streets going across? I don't know. There's a whole new thing there called intersections that they're using. There. Yeah. Well, what was the cross street? Do you remember what it was? No, I don't. It was, I was very young. Then. You were very young then? Yeah. Look like you're an old guy now, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and where are you living now? Um, Anaheim. Anaheim. Uh, yeah. Around maybe Orange County, would that be? Yeah. yeah. And, and what kind of work are you doing? I'm a student. You're a student, yeah. What school? Stanford College. Stanford College? Yes. Yeah, now I've heard of Stanford University. Stanford University. Yeah. Oh, it is Stanford University? Yes. Yeah, so it's around the Stanford area is really what, is what you do. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I have a feeling you're not majoring in geography. Is this correct? Or... Yeah. Now, now, yeah. now, now what, what is your major there? Law. Law? Yes. Well, this is the guy you want defending you when you're on trial for murder. Yeah. 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 Well, he wasn't really around the scene of the murder. Yeah, he was. He was near there, yeah. Yeah, you know, you think in law you'd have to deal with very specific things, sir. Yeah, you don't seem to have the mind for this kind of <laughs> law thing. Uh, I, I'm a college grad myself. I went to uh, Notre Dame. Do you know Notre Dame? Yeah. Yeah, I was on, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I was on football scholarship at Notre Dame, and uh, <laughs> I was. I was the first down marker for about three seasons. And, uh, it, it worked out pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, Cleveland is my hometown. I was born there. I was a large baby since when I was born. Yeah, I've lost weight since. Uh, it's going pretty good, yeah. Did you know Ohio is an Indian word? Yeah, it means beautiful. Of course, Cleveland's an Indian word, it means not. So, um, it works out okay. Yeah, I like being a kid growing up there. Now, did you like being a kid growing up there, our Stanford student? Kind of a short attention span there, are you all right? Uh, <laughs> and you're gonna be a lawyer? Uh, yeah, is this just pre-law or are you actually in, in law school? It's pre-law. Oh, pre-law. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you'll be just working, like, in the, uh, in the waiting room of a lawyer's office, you know? Yeah, pre-law. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what year are you at Stanford? I'm a freshman. Oh, just a freshman? Yeah, so you're pretty far away from this law thing, then. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, it, it's, uh, it's nice to have you here. Just talking on vacation, break? Nice to have you here. I, see, I like being a kid growing up. Uh, except... Except my parents were too strict, I think. They used to send us to bed at 7 o'clock at night when we were little. We were sleeping about 3 in the morning, and um, by the time school started, we were exhausted at that point. It was too much. I'll tell you the worst thing about being a kid, I think, is doing chores. Doing those dishes every day, taking out that garbage. That's the great thing about getting your own apartment. You move in that first day, you look around, you think to yourself, I'm done with chores. <laughs> 
Then after about a month and a half, he got those dishes piled up in the sink, and he had that science experiment growing in the shower, and uh, you look around again, and you think to yourself, I gotta have some kids. <laughs> Can't handle this by myself. Yeah. Yeah, I like being a uh, kid. Anyone else from the mid Midwest? Now you clap. Did you clap for Cleveland, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, and are, are you from Cleveland? You're not. Oh, Akron. Well, that's a different city, man. Sure. It's got many of the same letters, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's, it's what, about an hour away from Cleveland? About 30 miles. About 30 miles, yeah. I guess I was just a very slow driver at that point, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's only 30 miles from Cleveland. Yeah. And uh, are you still living there? No. Yeah, where are you living now? Tahunga, yeah, good for you. And what kind of work do you do? I teach. You teach? Yeah, what do you teach? Fourth grade. Fourth grade, that's a wonderful grade. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good grade. Yeah, do you teach? Uh, you know what I had trouble with in, uh, in school was uh, word problems in math. Do you teach those? Yeah, like Johnny cut the lawn in one hour. Billy cut the lawn in six hours. <laughs> what was wrong with Billy? <laughs> well, uh, good luck. You guys are a good group. Uh, yeah. Have you noticed I, um, <laughs> I really have no act? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I just get up and ask people they're from. I'm sorry, sir? Someone else from out of state? Let me check, sir. Uh, I, I can't tell just by looking. No, uh, are you from out of state, sir? Out of the country. Someone's from out of the country. Uh, where are you from, sir? Uh, England. England? Oh, nice to have you here. Yeah. Uh, we're mildly happy to have you here. Yeah, uh, a few people. Huh? Yeah. And uh, how long have you been here, sir? Two weeks. Two weeks. Well, you picked up the language remarkably in <laughs> just, just two short weeks. Yeah. And, and what brings you to the States? Uh, just, uh, snow. snow. Uh, I'm blood. sorry? Snow. Snow brought you here. <laughs> well, uh, I guess so you came to Malibu then, I guess. I just really, yeah. Well, uh, nice to have you, sir. What kind of work do you do? Um, I'm a data center manager, computers. You're what? You're, you're kind data of? Data center manager. Uh, well, uh, he works in computers. <laughs> yeah, oh, good. We got people translating for you. Good, thank you. Uh, yeah. Well, it's nice to have you in America. Are, are you still sore about that revolution thing? <laughs> You're okay about that? Anyway, so any questions for me before I go? I feel bad. I've done all the talking here. Anything you'd like to ask a big time, big deal comedian? Where'd you get your glasses? Huh? Where'd you get your glasses? Oh, good question, ma'am. Yeah. I, uh, surprisingly, the eye doctor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I used to go to Goodwill and just pick them out of the box, you know, but, uh, I thought I won. Good one. Anyway, this is going to be great. I do have to go now. I'll show you why. I don't know if you can see this, uh, but I still have these. Uh, yeah. Some point this out before I show. I still have these four white threads on the back of my pants here, and uh, yeah, I'm just glad that cardboard thing finally washed off. Uh, anyway, you've been great. Thank you very much for entertaining me. Good night. Thank you. the improv to come, so stick around. Yeah, stick around. Don't go away. There's still more comedy to come on A&E.